Well, what better way to kick off the new year than with a new menu here at Calabogie and a relatively new executive chef. Tristan Herzog has been here in the Valley for nine months. Yes. Okay, so you moved yeah. here with your wife, the two young kids. Now, yes. where is your wife from? I know you said Valley, but specifically? My wife is from Pembroke. Okay, yeah. Pembroke, I'm yeah. Renfrew. Today we're going to set that aside yeah. because what you have put out in front of us, mm -hmm. this spread is absolutely amazing. Before we get to the fondue, because I know this is a new addition, okay. where did you move from nine months ago? Uh, we moved from Kelowna, BC. Okay. Um, so, all the way across the country. And I like that. Move. Clearly you brought some of that snow with us, because, yeah, or yeah, with you, because yeah. this year, this season has just been uh, top notch. Yeah, now, where were working. you working in BC? Uh, I was at Mission Hill Winery. Okay. Um, so, big, beautiful winery, um, lots of produce and lots of fun. Well, and not only a very well-known, prestigious restaurant, but also, you know your wines, your level two sommelier? Yes. Okay, yeah. so he's going to get you on the right track, not only when it comes to eats, but uh, drinks as, as well. Absolutely. Uh, first of all, welcome to the Valley. It's such a thrill Thank to have you, you yeah, here. Yeah, no, it's... A, a Great to be here. Yeah. I was born and raised in this area, yeah. and to introduce what you have is just is really thrilling. Let's mm -hmm. start with the new menu at Cant Hooks Restaurant. What was important to you to keep in mind when it comes to produce and the products that you're using? Um, I mean, the area. The area is is extremely unique. Yeah. Uh, so the Ottawa Valley has has some very particular, uh, very unique items to be used, um, and it, it's about a culture. So okay, uh, the the people in the area and, and the valley seem well, to. I know. Seem to have the right thinking. We, we are pretty Absolutely. unique. Right? Okay, so let's start with the beef, for example. Where are yep. you getting that from? So beef is coming from Little Trickle Farm. Yeah. Um, so you can find them at the the Ottawa uh, Farmer's Market. Yeah. Um, but uh, local, grass-fed uh, beef, they do intensive rotational grazing. What does that uh, mean? So that means they move the cows twice a day. Okay. Um, so the cows are always feeding off of fresh, mm -hmm. amazing grass, and the land is taken care of amazingly well, mm -hmm. uh, which means that it's extremely sustainable. And I know you've been here nine months now, so during the summer, what were you uh, taking advantage of in yeah, terms of produce? So um, one thing we've started is is before service always, um, all the guys in the kitchen get to, get to go for a wander through this big, huge, beautiful resort property we have because yeah. there's amazing products on it that are growing right here. Okay. Um, anywhere from sumac to, to all the wild mushrooms we picked this, this fall. Okay, so now there's a reason why we've got fondue set yeah. up in front of us today. You've introduced something completely new. What is it? Yeah, so um, we're putting out a fondue menu um, come come New Year um, it's it's kind of I feel like it, it absolutely goes with the with the ski vibe yeah uh, the ski culture um, you know it's it's from the Alps so it, it just makes sense what type of fondue did you set out for us today uh, this is a beef um, so we've got a beef consomme in here yeah um, we've got our little trickle beef uh, some cremini mushrooms some fingerling potatoes and some cipollini onions okay um, and this is this is actually what you're what you're looking at getting for for a fondue spread when you when you come in in order uh, with your significant way? other, uh, and then we got a few dips on the side that uh, just kind of as it comes out. If you if you like to dip, there you are. Okay. And um, what if beef's not my thing? What are my other options? Uh, we got some cheese fondue, Kay. which is absolutely necessary, mm -hmm. right? Well, and um, obviously chocolate. And your chocolate. So. Okay, so you got chocolate, cheese, and beef when it comes to the fondue. Uh, but there are a number of different options when it comes to Calabogie Peaks, and that yes. is the Cant Hooks restaurant. How would you yep. describe the vibe in there? Uh, so Cant Hooks is. Um, Comfortable, um, rustic, but it's got some elegance. I know, um, I like it's, that. It's got a touch of elegance that kind of, it all works together perfectly, I find. Okay, it. and what about at the ski hill? I've got two so options. So ski hill, we've got the Mountain Cat Cafeteria. Yeah. Um, so kind of a lot a lot quicker, um, kind of, you know, if you're in a rush and, and you want to get back on the hill, yeah. go in there, you're going to get a quick lunch. And upstairs? Upstairs, Black Donald's Pub, yes. just releasing a brand new menu as well this year. Well, and the th thrilling thing about Black Donald is that every weekend you've got live music. Yes. So it really is the place to go for a pre ski, and then you can yep. have your snack there and then come on over for fondue. For now, fondue. the website is where you want to go to get a breakdown of all of the different restaurants, yes. the places that you can stay, because what you want to do is make that hour drive from Ottawa or four hours if you're coming from Toronto, and then either stay for the day or I think that you should stay and play. Yeah, why not stay the night? Exactly. Take yes. advantage of the accommodations. This is the only place in the area where you can actually ski in, ski out, do it all. Okay, mm -hmm. there's nothing left to do but eat. Are you ready? Absolutely. All right, let's do it. Dig in. You eat, I'll drink. All right. 